Ah, friendship. How beautiful. Adolescence is such a wonderful thing. So full of vibrancy. Mr. Chairman? Oh, hello. I just stopped by to pick someone up. I might as well introduce you to him now. <laughs> hello. Oh, Amadakun. What are you doing here? You know him? He doesn't leave during the break because of his circumstances. Oh, I heard about that. Something about your parents, right? It used to only be me and my mom, but she got in an accident. So now it's just me. It happened two years ago. Right now, one of his distant relatives is paying for his school expenses. But that doesn't mean he should stay at the elementary school dorm all by himself, right? So I decided to move him to your dorm, just for the summer. <laughs> to our dorm? Do you really think that's a good idea? Why, of course. He has the potential. Then he's the new candidate? That's right. But as you can see, he's still just an elementary school student. So it's only a possibility for now. Are you Akihiko Sonata Senpai? Uh, yeah. I've heard a lot about you. You've never lost a boxing match. Nice to meet you. Um, yeah. Nice to meet you. You'll need materials. You gotta what would you like? I never felt like. I never felt like. Please bring the required materials. Please bring the required materials. Please bring the required materials. I'm sure this will prove to be useful. I'm sure this will prove to be useful. Is that all you need? Come again. Today's 
lesson is called, the smaller the dog, the louder the bark. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to see through people's bathing suits at the beach? My! I don't think I've ever seen you this enthusiastic. Consumers might be persuaded by such candor. We could position you as the boy next door. Our company ran an ad in uh, adult magazines proposing a special filter for digital cameras. Simply attach it to your camera and voila! Start peeping! Undress them with your camera's eye, it says. It's been selling like hotcakes. In fact, it's our number one seller. Unfortunately, Customers have been complaining that it doesn't work. I told my staff to just ignore them. Nowhere does it guarantee that you'll be able to see anything. What are they gonna do? Tell everyone their creepy plan didn't work out? <sighs> Sorry, bucko. By the way, try to cut back on the donuts and cupcakes, huh? I have an idea for an ad campaign. Women would go crazy over a handsome young man in swim trunks. You'd be perfect for the job. Have you been keeping your promise? You didn't tell anyone, did you? If you go back on your word, I'll edit your face into the most obscene material I can find. so well lately, you know? And it's all because of your blasphemy. I begged so hard for your soul that I think I actually lost weight. Look at me! I'm paper thin now! Damn straight! I could down a ham katsu in my sleep if I really wanted to. I get what you're trying to say. You're embarrassed to be seen with me, right? I'm not like my little brother. I'm not smart or athletic. And I have weird stubby legs. And my pants are covered with food stains. I'm just a thorn in everyone's side. They all wish I could be more like my little brother. All they do is make fun of me. I just want this whole world to disappear. But the world can't end yet. Not until I save you first. Look, I can try harder. I just need to make it to paradise. That should solve all my problems. I'll be taller and more slender, and my body will glow. So I'll be safer at night. See? 
hope that I won't be inferior to my brother. Then you won't hate being seen with me. So please, don't abandon me. I have to go, so I don't have time to eat today. I haven't earned forgiveness just yet. And I have to find a new member to recruit soon. That was him just now. So can handle it. Sure, all I gotta do is rough him up and I get paid. You know, I've got this buddy who's kinda strapped for cash too, if you catch my drift. Fine, you both get paid. Just make sure you finish the job. Huh? Oh, it's you. 132,000 yen, right? That's the same trick he used on my son. If you know what's good for you, I'd stay the hell away from him. Whoa! Looks like we're finally coming up on the island! Hell yeah! Yeah! Koo! She! Ma! Jeez, you sound like a little kid. Oh, he's just having fun. Personally, I'm ready for some training. I do wonder what kind of flora and fauna live there. We're in an episode of Lifestyles of the Rich and Fabulous. Welcome back, milady. We won't be here long, but I'll be relying on you during our stay. You have maids? And you must be her associates from school, correct? Welcome to the Kirijo Vacation Home. Please, follow me. Associates? Dude, real life maids! I knew she was from an important family, but this definitely proves it. Hmm. It's good to see you. I heard the news. There isn't much here, but make yourselves comfortable. I. Uh, yes, sir! Her father? It was so intense. 
And what's up with them wearing a suit in this kind of heat? What's wrong with that? We won't be here long, but make yourself at home. Sweet! This is gonna rock! Hey, wanna go to the beach? It's literally right there! Oh man! I'm so ready for this! Come on, let's go! What? We just got here. I mean, it's gonna take time to get changed and stuff. Then I'll see you there. I'm not gonna waste a single minute. Sandals on, giving my feet a chance to breathe. Yep, summer's here. Darn, there's nothing out there I can use as a marker. Too bad, I was hoping for a good swim. Whoa, what's with that swimsuit? What do you mean? Dude, swim briefs? Nobody wants to see you jump. But they're better for swimming. You gotta be kidding. We come all the way to the beach, and you're gonna train? What's wrong with that? You got a better idea? Damn right I do! It's summertime at the beach! I've got the perfect activity. Wow, it's beautiful. Oh, hey, they're here. Looking at? Say hello to contestant number one, Yukari Takeba! That's quite a bold design. She's really strutting her stuff. Archery practice must do wonders for the self-esteem. Mm. Mm. If no one seems to have claimed the umbrellas around here, do you think mm. we can go ahead and use them? Ooh, next up is contestant number two, Fuka Yamagishi! Wow, Fuka, uh, do you wear swimsuits often, or...? Oh, whoops, was it something I said? Didn't mean to embarrass you. <laughs> hey, cut it out with that laugh, you creep. And for our final contestant of the day. What happened? Is something wrong? Wow, Kirito Senpai, you're so beautiful. Yeah, your skin is totally flawless. Hey, did you put on sunscreen already? N no, not yet. No, we can't have that. You gotta put some on right now. Oh, can I help? That's okay. I'll do it myself. Yo, dude. Dude! So, which one's your type? Seriously? You got balls, man. Man, this is great. I'm in heaven. All right, I think it's about time for a swim. Time! Oh, I'm not letting you win that easy. <laughs> what are you standing over there for? The water's fine!
I'm glad everyone's having fun out there. Our operations during the dark hour are taxing on both mind and body. You should relax a little. Rest up. If you need to take a break, the best spot to kick back is underneath the parasol. It's a lovely place, wouldn't you agree? When I was younger, I used to come here fairly often, but I haven't had the chance to visit since starting high school. Woohoo! Thanks, Kirito Senpai. Right now, I feel like I could die with no regrets. Given at the beach. Nice and cool, ain't it? Hey, knock it off! You're taking this too far! <sighs> okay, fine. You asked for it. Here we are on summer vacation, but I still have to deal with Junpei's usual antics. fancier than I could have imagined. I've never had to think about the proper way to use a fork and knife so much. Ugh. I can't eat anymore. Not even another bite of caviar. No one said you had to try to eat all of it. Well, I'm sure we're all exhausted from the trip. Why don't you go rest up in your rooms? Oh, are you not coming with us, Senpai? Yes, I'll join you in just a minute. It's been a while. I'm glad that you're in good health. Our guests are residents of the dorm, I presume. I'm sorry for bringing such a crowd. I heard you told them about the incident. Why did you hide it for so long? I wasn't hiding it. I've told you time and again, none of the blame is yours. But... Two in harmony surpasses one in perfection. That has been our guiding principle since the Kirijo family separated from the Nanjo group. <sighs> you must learn to trust in others, Mitsuru. There are things in this world that cannot be accomplished alone no matter how many sacrifices you make. I understand. You accessed our database, didn't you? That brings me to my next question. Why didn't you ask me directly, instead of using this trip as an excuse? I... I'm sorry. Bring them here, all of them. I have no intention of concealing the truth from them. I've made preparations to disclose everything. Everything? There's a girl named Takiba in your group, correct? For her to awaken to her power, it must be fate. Father? From what I understand, Mitsuru has already given you the short version. Oh, yes. Well, it's true. We adults are to blame. If I could have atoned for it with my life, I would have done so. Now I have no choice but to rely on you. What my father wanted to create with those monsters' power, it was a time manipulation device. That's what he was trying to do? Imagine if you could control the flow of time, eliminate unwanted events before they occur. With such a device, 
you could shape the future to your liking. Damn, that's insane. Unfortunately, under my father's direction, the research began to stray from its original goal. In his later years, my father seemed to have only nihilism in his heart. In fact, his madness may have resulted from his struggle to break free from that. It's only natural that you want to know the truth, and it's my duty to tell you. What's this? This is the only existing footage of the accident, recorded by a scientist who was at the scene. A video recording? I can only hope that this recording reaches someone with a conscience. Wait a sec. My employer has become obsessed with a loathsome idea. This experiment should never have been conceived. I'm afraid the damage will be staggering. At this point, it's unavoidable. But I didn't have a choice. If I didn't do this, it could have destroyed the entire world. Destroyed the entire world? Whoever is watching this, please. I need you to listen to me very carefully. The shadows that were amassed here have been dispersed as a result of the explosion. In order to end this, you have no choice but to eliminate all of them. I am the one responsible for this. I knew the risks, but I was blinded by the promise of success. And so, I chose to continue without objections. I am responsible. His name was Eiichiro Takeba. He was the head researcher at the time, and a very talented man. But we are the ones who are responsible. We pushed him to continue the research. The Kirijo group is to blame for his death. Uh, are you... So that means... My dad caused it all. The Dark Hour. Tartarus. The people who died. It was all his fault. Hey. So is that why you were hiding this? Because you felt sorry for me? Is that it? No, talk about I... I don't want your pity! Talk about... <sighs> um, shouldn't someone go after her? Will you go? Thank you. I believed in him for so long. This is too much. Remember what I told you at the hospital? How my dad died when I was little. You understand now, right? He died in that incident. Nobody knew the truth, so there were all sorts of rumors. Because he was in charge of the research team, people were really mean to me and my mom. We even had to move a few times. Yeah. But all this time, I kept telling myself it wasn't his fault. I loved him a lot. And I believed he'd never do anything wrong. I received a letter back in spring. It was from him. Written ten years ago. It cracked me up, because even though he said to my family, it was more or less all about me. And that only made me believe in him more. When I found out I had a special power, I thought it was fate. I was scared, but I thought if I cooperated with the Kirijo group, I might find out what really happened. 
That's why I agreed to fight using my persona. But now... Now I can see it was all for nothing. You're just trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Reality sure is harsh, huh? I tried so hard to fight my fear. And this is what I get. And you know, I think maybe I was jealous, too. I mean, after all that's happened. Why does Kirijo Senpai's father get to live? <laughs> I'm a horrible person, aren't I? Wow. I don't know how you do it. You're always so calm. Nothing ever phases you. Did you really think I could just be cheered up so easily? You think you know me? You don't know anything! I'm sorry. I can barely make sense of all of this. I'm so afraid. I just feel so lost now. Just tell me! What am I supposed to do now? Huh? You really are something else. Sorry for acting like this. I know you've lost your parents, too. I'll be alright. I'm used to dealing with stressful situations. Anyway, thanks for listening. <laughs> Let me guess. Senpai asked you to bring me back, right? <laughs> Aren't you a smooth talker? Thanks, though. What's taking you guys so long? Everybody was getting worried. It's almost the dark hour, so we gotta head back. Huh? Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, did I miss something? No, I, I just almost forgot. It doesn't matter where you are when the dark hour comes. Oh, come on, that's common sense. Even I remembered that. You know, I've been thinking lately. Once you awaken to the power of Persona, you remember everything that happens during the Dark Hour. In exchange for power, you can no longer look away from the things you don't want to see. We can't escape reality, can we? I guess we've just gotta stay strong, huh? Yeah, guess so. Alright then, let's head on back! You can't do this in Iwatodai. <laughs> oh, did you hear about Junpei-kun yesterday? He was acting so indecent, I didn't know how to react. <laughs> it's probably a good thing we came out here by ourselves. Hmm? Oh. Yeah. Mitsuru speaking. One moment. Let me switch over to speakerphone. Go ahead. Well, I'm at the lab here on the island, and a machine that was considered inoperable suddenly left the facility on its own. A machine? What kind of machine is it? I need more information to locate anything other than shadows. It's a 
type of combat vehicle. An anti-shadow weapon, to be precise. A combat vehicle? You mean like a tank? We gotta tell the others. Where's my phone? We're not currently with everyone, so it might take some time for us to regroup. I see. In any case, I want you to handle this as soon as you can. I'm on my way there now. If we can't secure the target, do we have permission to destroy it? I highly doubt you will be able to destroy it. What? Then how are we supposed to stop it? Just do your best. I'll call you again later. Great. No one's answering. Don't worry about it. Let's go back and get our equipment. Once we do that, we can have Yamagishi's persona scan the area. Although searching the whole island won't be easy. Ugh, the one time we need them and they're nowhere to be found! Huh? Are the girls not up yet? Man, those sleepyheads. The ocean's not gonna sit around and wait for us, you know? Once the sun sets, the water temperature drops, tiring you out much faster. Huh? Uh, I guess. That's really what you're worried about? Junpei, that reminds me. Didn't one of the maids give you something as we were leaving? <laughs> you saw that, huh? One of the maids gave me a letter. <laughs> oh, man. What if it's a confession of love? Well, it sure is tough being this popular. You're a moron. Okay, let's see here. It says, we've gone to see the Jomon Cedar Tree. Huh? This looks like Yamagishi's handwriting. Oh man, we're at an island resort in the middle of summer. Why are they going to the beach? That's just not right. Well, it is your fault. What do you mean? I just wanted to lighten the mood yesterday. I don't want to hear it. Well, it doesn't matter now, anyways. We're on our own. Just a guy. This is the frontier of romance. We're bound to meet someone new out here. We'll call this Operation Yakushima Beach Fling. Fling? You mean we're gonna pick up girls? How about it, Sonata-san? With you on the squad, we're guaranteed to succeed. I should have known this was your plan. What do you think about this? You're right, it does sound like a hassle. What? Don't tell me you want to spend the whole day with just us three. Come on, guys. It'll be fun. Then I'm appointing him our leader, as usual. What? Why? You said it yourself. This is an operation. Oh, man, that's bullshit. You better take this seriously. It's an important operation. So, let me give you some pointers. First off, think of something to talk about, something they might be interested in. Give them an easy question and get the ball rolling. That's the golden rule. Something like, where you from? Or, having fun? Once you get started, you'll be going back and forth like you're playing catch. I'll start things off, then you ask the questions, alright? 
Okay, here we go. Hey there, ladies. None of your business. Huh? Hey, hey, no need to be shy. Why should we tell you anything? Why? Uh, well... Come on, we're just making conversation. How is this like playing catch? Don't worry, I got this. Watch in there. So ladies, are you in college? Or maybe you're already working? Um, you guys seem a little young. Are you still in high school? High school kids vacationing in Yakushima? That kind of pisses me off. Sorry you feel that way. We're only here because we were invited to our friend's vacation home. Wow, a vacation home in Yakushima? Good for your friend. We, on the other hand, had to save up our own money to come here. Oh, that's a pretty big accomplishment, huh? No, not really. So what do you guys want, anyway? What? <laughs> I like your honesty. Don't encourage them. It'll go away if we ignore them. Wait! Don't do that! How can you blame us for wanting to talk to such beauties? <sighs> These guys are full of shit. Yeah, let's get out of here. Come on, give us a chance! How about a walk on the beach? Wow, you're annoying. See ya, boys. Yeah, you were playing catch all right. Hey, I did my best. And what about you, Sonata-san? If that's how you feel, then show us how it's done. Why do I have to show you anything? Well, you said this was an operation, didn't you? Aren't we supposed to work together in order to succeed? I guess you've got a point there. Fine, I'll give it a shot. I'm sure I'll do better than you, at least. Can you give me a hand? I'll go ahead and set the pace. A new set of tights. Hmm. What are you waiting for, Sonata Sun? Show us what you got. Just keep your mouth shut. Hey, Nobuko, are those boys looking at us? Oh, yeah, they are. Wow, Yoshie, I'm surprised you could see from over there. All right. Time to get in the ring. <clears throat> uh, uh, hi there. S uh, sorry to bother you, but uh, I, I wanted to ask you something. And what would that be? Uh, uh, are you, uh, two here alone? <laughs> are you hitting on us? No, no, not, not at all. We just thought that if you're bored, you might want to talk, or a, a chance meeting like this might stir things up for both of us, uh, you know? Um, isn't that what it means to hit on someone? Haven't you heard? 
It's lame to hit on girls at the beach nowadays. Aw, come on. They were bored anyway. And besides, they look kinda cool. Really, Nobuko? Hey, how old do we look to you? Seriously? We still look that young? Aw, I'm so happy to hear that. Even if it's just flattery. To tell you the truth, we're actually older than that. Uh-oh, you are? That, that's too bad. Yo, wait! That's fine by us! Older women are more mature and experienced and stuff. You know, you're a pretty smooth talker for someone so young. How old are you guys anyway? Truth is, we're in high school. I'll be graduating next year. Oh gosh, that's more of an age gap than I was expecting. See, it's not gonna work out. Besides, I doubt you're having any fun talking to us. Come on, no you're not. I don't think there's anything we could chat about that you'd find interesting. Unless you want to hear me complain about my boss. Uh, complaining about your boss, um, that might be fun. You're not very good at lying, are you? You really don't have to try so hard. Yoshie, don't ruin the conversation. He said it might be fun, so just play along. Novako, you need to stop being so nice to everyone. Oh, come on. It's been ages since I've done this. Tease these kids enough. We should head back. They're gonna be waiting on us, you know. They? You mean, you have boyfriends? Oh, right. Sorry, forgot to mention that. Well, we gotta go now. We're meeting our boyfriends back at the villa for a barbecue. You can come if you want. Not a son. What happened? We look like a bunch of idiots. <sighs> and you, you haven't been pulling your weight either. Gotta come through on the next one. You hear me? There's a woman over there all alone. It's unusual to find someone not in the group. No boyfriends to be seen in the area either. I think we're in the clear. All right, time to make contact. Excuse me, miss. Oh, hello. Can I help you? Oh, she's hot. Say, uh, you here alone? Yeah? And I'm so bored. I've been watching you, by the way. You've been trying to pick up girls for a while. Well, how'd you do? I see. You boys are cute. But you know why you didn't succeed? It's because you don't understand what a woman feels. Guess I can't deny that. You, in the hat. You're way too wrapped up in yourself. Shouldn't you be thinking more about how to make your partner happy? Yes, ma'am. You in the t-shirt. You're the type that's stoic, but not very experienced with girls. Yeah, I guess that might be true. You seem like kind of a hassle, too. Like you're super logical about everything. <sighs> And you, with the long hair. Hmm. I'm not sure about you.
<laughs> I mean, you're mysterious. Like, no one can ever tell what you're really thinking. You know what I mean? Oh, you're so smart. Mm -hmm. I think you're just my type. Hey, wait a second! Just joking. I like you a lot, too. Really? Want me to tell you what would make me really happy? Yes, ma'am. Could I ask you to help me put on my sunscreen? What? I mean, uh, you're all right with that? Of course I am. I have enough for you, too. Oh, oh man. I'm really sorry, guys, but I'm not passing up this chance. Would you two like to join, too? I'll give you a good deal. A deal? You know that sun in the sky isn't real, right? That's an artificial sun that got sent into space back in the 1980s. Huh? You didn't know? Turns out that sun sends out harmful rays that mess with your body's equilibrium. Normal sunscreen doesn't work. But that's where this special one comes in. And if you opt in right now, you can get three bottles for just 300,000 yen. Hey, doesn't she sound kind of strange? so much what's wrong with you I thought you weren't interested in picking up chicks if I'm in a match I want to win uh... I know what our problem is you can't control yourself what don't blame this on me I'm just stating the obvious not like you scored either, Sonata-san. Why do you always gotta be so logical? Even in front of babes, it doesn't make any sense. What did you just say? That's it. Leader, whose fault do you think it is? I won't accept a stalemate. It's either him or me. Yeah, that answer ain't gonna cut it. Besides, what the hell do you... No. What? Do you see something? about saving the best for last. Now that's what I'm talking about. Holy hell, she's cute. Yeah, she is. Oh, man, this is insane. If we nail this, it'll blow our failures out of the water. How about this time, we try going one by one instead of all together. All right, I'm in. Okay, and let's decide the order. We'll go clockwise, starting with the winner. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors! Oh, yeah! I win! Okay, I'll go first, Sonata Sonata second, and he'll go last. Here it goes! Uh, hey. I notice you've been, uh, Staring at the ocean. So, um, you 
here with anyone. My name's Junpei. Junpei? <clears throat> um, I was just wondering if you'd be down to talk. If you're not busy. I mean, it's more fun than standing here all by yourself, right? I am looking for someone. Uh, oh, yeah? You are not that someone. Wow. You got shot down faster than I expected. She's a tough one, Senpai. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Oh, hey. Do you like the... Uh, motion? Is your question directed at me? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I like the ocean. I, you know, heard something interesting about triathletes who train at indoor pools. Apparently, they get outperformed by athletes who train in the ocean. That information is irrelevant to me. Uh, <sighs> <laughs> well, I won. I talked to her longer than you did. It doesn't matter how long you talk to her! <sighs> this sucks. I could cry. Hey, don't cry. Ugh, you're making me feel bad. Well, that's where we are. If you can't pull this off, I'm gonna be traumatized for the rest of my life. We're on the ropes, but it's not over yet. It's all up to you now. 